Now, from a group of 15 cricket players, a team of 11 players is to be chosen. In how many ways can this be done? Right? Uh, see, we have two questions. First of all, let's finish up till there. 15 players are there. We have to choose 11 players. So, it's quite a simple problem. 15 C 11, that is nothing but 15 C 4, right? So, it is 15 into 14 into 13 into 12. Reduce till the fourth step, then factorial of the denominator, right? So, it is 15 into 7 into 13. Right, so these are the number of ways when uh, we can select 11 players from 15 players. Right, the next is in how many ways can they be sent to the play playground? Right now, 11 players are there, so they can be sent in 11 factorial ways, as simple as that. Right, here we have done the selection, here we have done the arrangement. Right, if both the things are to happen simultaneously, then the total answer will be this. Right. That means first of all, we are selecting 11 players and the selected 11 players are being sent to the playground in 11 factorial ways. Right. So we have to be very clear. Right. If we are asked only about selection, then our problem will be over till here. And after selection, if we have to make the arrangement, then we have to go to uh, this step also. Right. Now let's try this problem. In how many ways can a football team of 11 players be selected from 16 players? Okay, so first of all, there is no condition. 11 players from 16 players. So the answer is very simple. 16 C 11, that is 16 C 5, right? We do. We are not going to calculate it because uh, bright chances are there that uh, you'll be having this as an option. And if you are appearing for subjective exam, then I think you can uh, live leave it up to here only right now this is what without any condition now the first condition is include two particular players right so in all we are having 16 players right now two particular players suppose a and b it's mandatory to select them that means two players are already selected right so now remaining players are what 14 players because two are already selected, we, we don't have to uh, like uh, take in them into this team of next selection. So now 14 players are left and out of these 14, we just have to select 9 players because two we have already selected, right? So we are not calculating A and B. So 14 players are there and we have to select 9. So it's 14 C 9, right? Okay, so it's pretty clear. Okay, the next is exclude two particular player. So, suppose we have to exclude these two particular player that is A and B, right? We don't have to choose them. Now, we are having 16 players out of this 16, two we don't have to choose. So, we are left with 14 players. Now, we have to make the team of 11 players from these 14 players. So, it's 14 C 11, right? So, 14 C 11 that is 14 C 3. Okay, so got the difference between the three problems. The first one is 16 C 11, the second one is 14 C 9 and the third one is 14 C 3. Getting my point? When we are including two particular players and we are, when we are excluding two particular players. Uh, friends, we have done good number of problems even in this session. In the next session, we'll be taking more problems. So do revise this session because we have discussed some new concept also in this session that is circular arrangement. So in the next session, we'll be taking more challenging problems. See you. Bye-bye.